Hey, welcome back. In this Procreate Dreams tutorial, I will walk you through how you can animate texture, images, and hand-drawn elements to create this fun mixed media animation. The first part of the animation is the looping texture animation in the background. With drawing mode enabled, I will drag my blue color from the circle onto the canvas just like you would in Procreate to fill a screen. Next, I will add a new track and tap Add Image, and I will bring in a texture image. Once imported, I will reposition the image, and then I will drag the end of the content to reduce its duration to two frames. Next, I will duplicate the content and flip the image horizontal, and then I'll duplicate the second image and this time I will flip it both horizontal and vertical. And I will also move the image over. Now I have a sequence of three images, which when played back will look like it's moving texture animation. Next, I will group the sequence. Then I will group the texture group with the blue layer and label it. So now I want to have the texture blend in with the blue background. So I will tap and hold on the texture group. And in the pop-up, I will tap on blend mode and then choose swipe through modes until I find one that fits the look I'm going for, which I end up with overlay. Next, I'm gonna tap on the action button and then I will tap on filter. Now I'll tap on opacity and use this slider to reduce the opacity until the texture is super subtle. That looks great. And then now I have this subtle blue texture background animation. Now I'll work on the clipping mask animation. To start out, I will tap on the add icon and tap on text. And for this tutorial, I'll just go with a simple number. Next, I will make sure my text is selected and then I will tap on the styling icon, which is the two A's over here. I'm not a fan of the default font, so the first thing I'm going to do is change it to impact. I like using fonts with a nice bold weight to them so the art or textures can really show through. Lastly, I'm going to scale up the text and position it in the center of the canvas. Next, I'm going to use Action, Edit, then Split to divide the content around the 6 frame mark. This way, I can just delete the unneeded duration. And with the base of the clipping mask set up, now I'm going to create the looping collage animation. As with the texture animation, I'm going to add a new track and then import all my images. When you import multiple images at once, all your images will be on the same track. So the first thing I will do is drag the other two images onto their own track. Next, I'm going to trim all three images to two frames long by tapping on the timeline edit mode and selecting all three images. As you can see, they're all outlined in red, which shows you that they've all been selected. Next, I'll tap on the edge of one of my images and then tap on the screen with a finger and drag an edge to the two frame mark. By holding the screen with one finger, it will adjust all the selected images at the same time. Next, I'll group all three images and I will extend the group to align with the end of the other content. Next, I'll hold on the content and tap mask and then select clipping mask. And as you can see, all the content in my group is now clipped to the text track below it. And I take this moment to label the group now I'll open the group and start making looping animations with my images. So starting with the top image, I will scale down and reposition it. Next, I'm going to add a new track above the image. Since I want to only show some of this image, I'm going to use a layer mask to create the shape that will be shown. So I'll pick a smooth brush, and then I will enter drawing mode and just draw the outline of my mask. And then I will use color drop to fill in the shape. Next, I will drag the frame edge so it fills the full duration of the group. Next, I will tap and hold on the content and tap mask. And then this time I will tap on layer mask. 
And as you can see now, my image only shows the area that I drew. Next, I'll repeat the steps I used with the background animation by duplicating the image and repositioning it so I have a nice contrast between images. Next, I'll create a third copy and flip and reposition the image, making sure all three images have some nice contrast. And once I'm satisfied with the sequence, I will group the images and layer mask into a group, and then I'll delete the extra track and label the group. Now I'll repeat the previous steps with the middle image. I'll first focus on positioning the image. Next, I'll draw a mask around the bottom of the letter where I don't want my image to be visible. And once again, I will extend the mask frame. Now I'll duplicate my paper image and reposition it and then duplicate the second and then flip and reposition the third image. Once satisfied, I will group the sequence of images and then I will turn my mask shape into a layer mask. And as you can see now, my paper sequence is only shown up at the bottom, which is the opposite of what I want it. So I'm going to tap on the group again to access those mask options. And this time I'll tap on invert. And now my sequence is showing up the way I want, so I will group the mask and image group. Next, I'll delete the extra tracks and label this middle group. And now I can focus on repositioning the bottom image. And I'll repeat the previous process of duplicating and repositioning the second and third duplicates. And because this animation is on the bottom, I won't need to create any masks, so I'll just label the group. Next, I will group the looping animations with a text. By grouping these elements, I will have the option to animate the movement of the whole thing later if I want. And this is a great place to play back the animation to see how it's turned out. And that's looking really great. I love just the energy of the collage within the number, as well as just the subtle animation in the background. The last part will be to create the hand-drawn animations. I feel even in a digital format, you have to add some hand-drawn elements to give your piece that traditional mixed media style. So the first element I will create is the outline around the number. This will help the number really pop out from the background. And since I want the outline to always be aligned with the number, I will create a new track within that number group. Then I'll go into flipbook mode and I'm going to change my brush to ink bleed as I want something more rough and organic. Next, I'll start drawing the outline around my text shape. And I'm not trying to draw the line perfect. I actually want the imperfections to make it look more hand-drawn. And now I'll redraw my outline in the next blank frame. And you don't have to worry about having your lines match up perfectly. The differences in drawings will create a wiggle animation to the outline. And once again, I will redraw my outline again in the third frame. Next, I will select all frames and with one finger held onto the screen, I will drag an edge to extend all my frames at once. And then I'll play back to review the outline animation. Next, I'm going to draw some wavy lines around my screen. So I'll make sure I'm on the empty track above the number animation group. Next, I will toggle on drawing mode and then enter flipbook mode. And I'll start by drawing some wavy lines in the top left corner. And then I will draw some wavy lines in the bottom center of the screen. And as you can see, I have them overlap my number to create some dimension to the piece. Lastly, I will draw some wavy lines over here in the top right corner. Next, I will tap on the second frame and I will redraw over all of my wavy lines. And as you can see, I'm not drawing them perfectly aligned to the previous frame as I want the lines to look like they're wiggling when they play. Next, I'll redraw the lines again on the next blank frame. 
Once done, I will extend the frames so they align with the duration of my other animations. Next, I will group them, and then I will label that group. And that's it. Now I have this fun and energetic mixed media animation. If you would like to learn more about mixed media animation, then check out my class. I walk through the fundamental animation techniques, the design process, and multiple mixed media animation projects. I also share all my working files and resources. Thanks for watching and let me know what tutorial you would like me to cover next.